Happy Peep Susanna here today for the February A Cherry on Top YouTube Hop where the theme is love. So loved theme. So love theme can be anything from um, romantic love to friendship love to pet love to book love to hiking love to outdoor love. You name it. Um, so I am using this love theme collection. It is um, Simple Vintage Love Story from Simple Stories and I... It, I'm using it to document um, a heart rock, love themed, um, with my husband on our anniversary trip, love themed, and our love for the outdoors, love themed. So there you go. Um, this is pretty vintage for me. This is um, very distressed and um, I don't normally do that, but I love how the distressed feel mimics the outdoor feel. So I um, went for that large piece of yellow because I thought that the yellow really popped the blue in the sky, which then really popped the rock, um, which you can see is heart shaped. And I'm just creating um, strips and I'm tearing this particular piece because again, it adds to that sort of distressed, roughy, outdoorsy feel um, of this photo. And I am wearing, it's actually a maroon shirt, but it very much is popped by this really bright red in the collection here. And so I'm using a few of the embellishments down the bottom. Um, I love the weight of the yellow, which isn't as heavy or dark a color. The contrast of the bigness of that yellow piece with that red. And so I replaced them in order to um, better provide balance across the whole page, as well as that contrast and balance that I wanted on the photo there. Um, so if you know me, you know that I like to use unusual size photos, large photos, um, multiple photos. Uh, I didn't want a multiple photo layout here because I had this large one and I wanted to get the expanse of being outdoors. Um, and so don't ask me what size this is because I really truly don't know. I believe it is eight across um, and roughly four, four by eight sounds about right. Um, I printed it on letter size paper. So um, I cut out a heart there and I am also going to fussy cut out one of these butterflies and I will do that at warp speed in a minute so that I, you do not have to um, watch me do that. I will spare you the agony of that. But I went with the, the pinky red maroony colored butterfly because again, it complements that red strip down the bottom which complements my shirt and just kind of ties everything together. Um, I have the new Tim Holtz ink, the uh, Scorched Timber, and I'm going to use that to distress. It's perfect for distressing. It's not something I do a lot, largely because I don't use distress um, product, but it is perfect for adding sort of more of a shadow um, to your elements. A tip there is using the edge of the um, pad instead of just rubbing it against. You can go into the sides of the pad is a nice way to get into the little nooks and crannies. I do that a lot. So some of the embellishments from the collection, um, I'm just scattering, scattering them about. Not so much because I need a lot of decor on the page. I, I really think the photo speaks for itself. And then I want to journal in um, that little piece with the, the clipboard down the bottom right. Um, and then I know I want the title to go um, in that white space. It's not white, it's ivory in between. So another fun way of distressing things is just to kind of crinkle it up a little bit. It. it gives a little bit of texture to your page. Um, and so I crinkled up, you could see that uh, stamp cancellation stamp um, there. And then just layering up a few of these embellishments there. Um, mostly irrelevant to the theme really, other than just sort of being outdoors and distressed and distressy outdoorsy. Um, and then of course the hearts relevant to the love theme here. So um, my journaling is kind of what makes the theme stick out um, because hearts, hearts are love, right? Um, and then I talk about how we're celebrating our anniversary and at the heart rock um, and how I love this man and love um, that he puts up with my harebrained ideas and traveling and all of the love things that um, well, not all, but a lot of the things. So another way, if you do, I only ever buy the Distress Oxide inks, really. Um, sometimes I will buy the spray, um, but usually you can make your own. Um, so I'm just using a stamp block there and um, getting some nice little sprays there and splatters. Um, I was, 
I really wanted something larger, which I was impatient. Um, and so I just went and grabbed some of my old Heidi Swap shine. Um, I'm going to be so sad when I finish that. Uh, hopefully it'll last me a long time. So after the fact, I decided I really needed a little bit more red in there. Um, and so you can see I'm going to use that other ripped end and I'm figuring out how do I want to add this red because that red down the bottom really stands out because my shirt doesn't pop quite as much. Um, so I'm going to use the reverse side, the pink, which is a hue of the red, underneath the photo, and then I'm going to put a strip of the red up the top. You can see I've got the red in that unforgettable um, foam sticker, but I really wanted a little bit more, and you'll see when I put that in there how mm, it just ties it all together perfectly. That was It's funny how the little, little things like that, literally a ripped piece of paper, right, um, tie it together. And then I have these uh, um, Color Vibe alphabet sticker books, and I didn't have enough of the letters that I needed for Heart Rock, so I went and got a different book, and these are the summer ones. And I actually prefer this mint color. Um, I didn't want to add any more red. It was just sort of grabbing you, and, and you weren't seeing the story and the photo, um, and so this mint works much better. And um, be very careful with these because they are paper, and they rip very quickly. You'll see I actually rip one of the letters down as I put it down, but I'm terrible at lining up. Um, letters so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on my ruler push them down and then gently try and pr pr pry the ruler away so this is a YouTube hop um, every month we open the month over at a cherry on top with a themed hop so be sure and there are lots of new gals so be sure to um, head over to their channels they're in the description box down below and see what love theme is um, projects they have to inspire you with. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.